Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Come in and tell me hello. I'll wait for a couple more people to come on in. How's everybody's Wednesday going? I know mine's been busy so far. <laughs> so I'm hoping this one doesn't take very long. I've got so much to do. So hello, Florida Mama Bear. How are you, sweetie? Hello, Angela. How are you? I hope everybody's doing well and hello, K.A. Hello. Frosty will be up here in just a few minutes and <coughs> we'll see how this goes. I have, I've got a lot of things here. <laughs> got a little component, a lot of little components here. The milk can is going to be for I could do different arrangements and it. it's not going to be permanent. So um, <clears throat> I can change it out through the holidays. Hello, Tank. How are you? Yes. So, and I've got stamp, I mean, um, uh, rub ons here. And I've got a piece of ribbon. I've got some pearls. I've got a bunch of stuff. So we're just going to make this little puppy up here. Yes. Hello, Robin. How are you, sweetheart? Doing okay. You're cooking. Okay. I hate to cook, so <laughs> that's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> I'm not a cooker. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started because this thing's going to take a little bit. I'm going to paint the... The milk can white and then i'm going to distress it up make it old looking like it'd been sitting at a barn um and then i'll finish up the rest of the painting but i'm going to get this going so hello hot damn hello baked with miss red how are you sweetie crochet then cooking or baking are my passion yeah I wished I had the motivation to cook. I love to bake. I don't mind baking. Cooking, another story. <laughs> Hello, Dot. How are you, my sweet friend? I've already sh shook this up, so let me go ahead and get a brush. What brush do I want? I want this one. And I'm just going to paint this white. I got this on clearance. I think I got it for a dime. And Hobby Lobby. And the reason I got it for a dime was because it was missing the other handle here. So, yeah, it was on Clarence Clarence. Sure, my paintbrush is on correct. Okay. So, let's just get started on this. Yes, everybody's saying hello to each other. Awesome. This may take a couple coats. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it if it does, because I'm going to be sanding some of it off to bring back some of the metal. So. And I'm going to stain it up, make it look rusted in spots. Yeah, this is going to take two coats. So how's everybody's Wednesday going? I'm still snowed in. <laughs> it's still a lot of snow here. It's starting, I mean, it's still cold, but the sun is melting some of it away. So there's that. What's everybody saying? Oh, is ABD in here? I didn't see her. Yes, I hope she is feeling better. Oh, no, I've seen your picture. I know, it is pretty. 
It is definitely pretty. Okay. All right. Baby. ABD, Miss Frosty. I hope you're feeling better too. Hi, Frosty. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How Sorry, are you wait. doing this fine day? It's cool, though. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cold still here, too. And they hello, say, BP. Sorry. You know, BP. Mwah. Sending you hugs. The Crochet Queen China is also in. China, hello. How are you, sweetie? I hope you had a great holiday. Yeah, we're supposed to get another band of this weather this weekend, so. Yeah. We can't really afford to miss too many practices. We have a competition coming up, and parents aren't going to be happy if they've got to go for makeup practices. So, but you got to do what you got to do. I'll go ahead and get this a dry, and then I will put the second coat on it. And then we can start working on the fun stuff. Everybody's saying hello to one another. Mom of One is also in saying hello. Hello, Mom of One. <laughs> Practices explain. Um, I own a cheer gym. And we have a competition coming up in a couple weeks. And... Well, next week. <laughs> and then we have one at the end of the month. And we've had to call practices because when school's out, we call practices as well. And, well, can't miss too much or else, you know, all the money that the, all the work that these kids have put into and all that wouldn't be too good if they, you know, lost or didn't score well. So, all right, let's go ahead and give this dry. Cool, like those crazy women on TV. I missed something. Hello, Talking Dave. About the gym. Talking about the cheer um, gym. Yeah. Oh, we're not that bad. We're not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some are, don't get me wrong, but there's, we're, we're not that bad. Hello, Colette. All right, let's give this a quick second coat. Oh, that's hot. Okay, let's wait on that to give it a second coat because that's a little warm. My paint will do some freaky things. <laughs> okay. Um, this here, I'm going to give a coat of paint of white on the back here. And these are just hearts that I picked up from various places. I think these came from um, Dollar Tree. Hello, Dave. Hello. Um, who else just came in? Oh, Molly. Molly just came in from Best Hunters. Best Hello, Best Molly. Best. How are you, hon? 
And Mama of Wonder is asking, she said you were late. She or she was late. She was wondering what you were making. I am making an everyday milk can that I can put picks in of various holidays. So I can switch it up. And they're gonna the the I'm gonna do one for Valentine's, and then whenever Easter comes, I can do some for Easter. So and then spring and you know, just decorate it to where it'll sit in my little shelf thing that I have. And I can just change out the flowers and all that. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm going to go ahead. And, no, I'm staying Mama. in that one. Yes. Mama Lynn says, cool, versatile. Yes, Connie very versatile. Hi, Connie. Hi, Connie. How are you? I hope everybody is doing safe. I hope if everybody has weather, they're staying safe. Yeah, we're going to be hitting some bad temps here next week. So, or by the weekend, we'll be minus 20 below on wind chill. So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Your husband grew up on a dairy farm. I, my grandmother had a dairy, my step-grandmother had a dairy farm. We had fresh milk. We grew up with fresh milk. I mean, fresh, fresh. <laughs> I had to have it very, very cold. Almost like little ice crystals in it. Because it'd be so thick. Yeah, BP says so she's just, she's avoiding the Arctic breeze as much as possible. Yeah, get I totally get that. Yeah, me too. I'm just glad I don't have to be out in it. I feel bad for the ones that have to be out in it. Like Empower, she's out in it. And I'm worried to death about it. Well, your channel's not a crafting channel, Dave. <laughs> What? But he does. Oh, okay, I put Dave's link into the chat because he does have a channel. It's just not a crafting channel, but he does. Uh, the, before his channel, he was he works on um, um, auto body for he was spraying truck parts and stuff like that. So, but his channel's grown quite a bit in the past year or two here. Yeah. So. All, All right. right. Do it out there. Mama one says, holy moly, Kelly, do you have a wood stove or a fireplace in case the power goes out? Uh, we do have a fireplace. Um, I've never used it. Um, but if it gets too cold in here, I guess we will. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never used it. It kind of, yeah. Kind of intimidates me a little bit. So, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm more worried about my car not starting or, you know, that type of thing. That's more, I'm more worried about that. Mama one says, I was watching a couple of drivers. Man, am I ever glad I don't drive for a living. Yeah, that's what Empower does. She drives trucks for a living. She's a truck driver, and I am worried to death with her out there. Uh, K.A. says uh, I've been half... Oh, sorry. That's okay. K.A. said I've been happy with Michigan weather. First day to snowblow was today. And Baked with Miss Red says it's beautiful here, but the wind is very chilly. I was working on taking the Christmas lights down and had to come in and warm my hands. Yeah, I stay out of the cold as much as possible. 
check the debris before you use it? Well, my husband goes up there whenever he puts up the Christmas lights and checks it out. And, um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Ms. Frosty is back. She's having a week. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to stain a couple of these. I'm going to go ahead and stain this one heart. Stain the, uh, these two dowel rods, I, I mean, the uh, skewers I have here. And I'm going to paint those, so I don't need that right now. Let me go ahead and get a baby wipe. Mom of one asked, is in power driving in Kansas? Uh, she was watching Trucker G and the roads were not looking very nice. Uh, yeah, she is in. She's driving to Kansas. That's the sucky part. Yeah, she had to go to Topeka today, so. She was supposed to go yesterday, but didn't make it because she couldn't get out of her street. So. I was glad she didn't leave yesterday. At least this, the uh, roads are getting a little bit more clearer today. Don, the crafty visage, says we couldn't even snow blow today. The snow was too wet after all the rain over the snow. Heck of heavy this morning. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Ours was pretty wet, too. It was definitely wasn't a dry snow. And we had about eight inches here. Okay, I got both those sides trimmed. Let's move on to the skewers. Apparently, baked with Miss Red forgot to how to use her phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, KA says, I love having a fire inside and outside in nice weather. I use both my fireplace and fire pit. Yeah, I don't go out. I stay in as much as possible. Uh, Missy Pop is in, says, hi, everyone. Sliding in here late. My relatives live outside of Kansas City, sent me pictures of his property, Winter Wonderland. Yes. Definitely is a winter wonderland out here. I just live outside of Kansas City, too. Ow. Mama Jesus, that hurt. A I'm splinter. sorry to hear that, Don. Who? <laughs> uh, craft, crafty Visage says, that's what we got, too, about eight inches of snow and then two inches of rain on top, so it's a mess. Oh, that'd be crazy. Oh. Okay, that left a splinter. I got to find it here real quick because it hurts. There, I got it. Be a little bit more careful with this. These skewers like to splinter. Yeah, big just Miss Red still in training. <laughs> just kidding. That looks good. Okay. Hi, right. Mima. Mima. Mima says, I hear there's some crazy little women in Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mima. Hello, Mima. <laughs> Elaine saying she doesn't like the cold at all. Yeah, I'm not big on the cold, but you know. Okay, I don't want to get any stain right now on where I don't want it. So I'm going to wipe my hands off here. Let those dry. Set them up here. Set that up there. 
this should be dry enough for me to do what I wanted to do. Um, let me go ahead and paint these, these little hearts here, so I can get K. rid of this. K.A. says, I'm 63 and live alone, but enjoy a nice fire. Well, I do have two fur doggies, a pit bull, and a golden retriever. I used to have a golden retriever. His name was Stranger. Okay. Stranger? Stranger. He was a stranger. He appeared at my door, and I had him for a while, and then he left. So, he was definitely a stranger. Okay. And then I'm using um, Fairly Pink on these little bitty hearts here. This may take two coats because this wood's kind of dark. And these little hearts here I got from Hobby Lobby in their wood pile section. One. Crafty Visage says he showed up and Kelly said, hello, stranger. Yep, that's how it was, pretty much. <laughs> He Even lived with us for about a year, and then he ran away. So, definitely a stranger. Maybe he was scared of the snake. I didn't have the snake at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Me, no, but him started. and my lop-eared rabbit. I had a lop-eared rabbit. And he was, he just ran loose. He was potty trained. Um, I love that rabbit. And he was, him and the rabbit played like you would not believe. I mean, they were inseparable. And the rabbit passed away. And soon after that, stranger left. So I think he was just the heartbroken. That's how I'm figuring it out. Okay, let's get a second coat on these. And then we can start assembling. I want to do a lot to this little can here. But I'm letting it cure on there before I start doing rub-ons. K.A. says, I love outside. I do lawn care with my son's business, and we also hang Christmas lights for homes and businesses. If you don't keep moving, no. you lose it. Right? That may need another coat. This barely pink is very light. I didn't realize how light it was until I had to put it on a dark surface. <laughs> Let's give you another coat. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> Missy Pop says, I had a beagle na boy named Tucker who would escape out the door. I would chase him yelling his name. My neighbors would say, what is she saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, I'm done with that. Let's move these over here so they can dry and cure. Sorry to hear Molly. Molly says her husband is laying in a mud hole in the cold fixing their plumbing. That sucks. Oh, lordy. And they're done that. Not oh, fun. No, 
that doesn't sound like fun at all. Okay, I'll grab this here. Soften it. Soften it up a little bit. Yeah, ABD says, I bet he's not happy right now. Yeah, no doubt. No, I don't think he'd be happy right now. I'm having to be underneath. Ugh. Just getting the old stain off. There we go. That's better. Get these little clump balls. Yeah. Okay. Back down there. Let's bring this back. Yeah, Molly says he's, she's going to get him a coffee and a warm bath. Uh, there you go. Miss, sorry. No, go ahead. I was saying, there you go. Give him a warm bath. That ought to make him feel better. Miss Red said her client's mother had a cat named Meow, and she would stand on the porch yelling, Meow. <laughs> Yeah, baked with Mr. Ed says you couldn't imagine some of the gold you all have. Mom of one says we had a neighbor who named their chocolate lab Damn It. Every so often you'd hear them yelling, Damn it, down the street. <laughs> Tank says they had a friend who named their cat Me Too. Me Too? That's cool. Tank is suggesting a hot toddy. There you go. A little bit more than what I wanted off of there. Go. You walked the cat on a leash. My cat walks on a Crafty leash. Busy. Rethinking. My, my, I couldn't even imagine my cat would lose her mind. Well, I lived in an apartment, and Chucky loved to take walks. So we would just put him on a leash and we'd walk him around the neighborhood. He liked it. Yeah, he had a harness because he didn't like anything around his neck. He's never been a collar person. So we had to do the yeah, that looks good. I like that. I'm going to do a little bit of sanding and bring back some of this metal and spots. There we go. Right there. Okay. 
Like it. Put a little bit of stain on there. Mama One says they had a cat they took camping and they walked with a harness and a leash. Yep. I don't. <laughs> Miss Frosty says, Miss Red, I'm just thinking if I ever had if I ever had to yell moose around my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's saying a hot cocoa and peppermint snaps. That sounds good. Yeah, that does sound good. Miss Frosty says her rabbit had a leash. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. How dry are you? Are you getting dry? Yeah, you're dry. Oh, let's look for a recipe for hot toddies. Okay. Okay, so now my little can looks like that. I'll rest it looks like water had been dripped on it. And it's not white no more. That turned out cute. Okay. I'm done with the sander for right now. Let me work on this piece here. Um now with that, there we go. And then I have these pieces. Let me get rid of this paper. I don't want any paint getting on my paper. Okay. I have these pieces. Didn't know which one I wanted. I started off with this one. And I may go ahead and use it because I think it'll look better with this here. This one here is too light. That one there too blue. Okay. Apparently everyone had rabbits on leashes and your mom's here. She's asking, what are you making? Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Brother had a big jackrabbit, and he walked him on a leash. Yep, yep. Uh, Mama making a milk can, an old rusty milk can. And while this is curing, before I do the rub on, I'm trying to think of which one I want to put on there. I have this print here. I have a little bit of this print here. And I have this print here. And I'm really aiming towards, yep, I'm aiming towards that one. We'll save these for another little project. Let's move our can out of the way. And let me trace. I want some of this rose on here. Yeah. Put it on here. We'll trace it out. Tank is suggesting number three. Yeah, that's the one that that that's the one I'm using. Is number three. Yep. Tank says she stopped drinking over 15 years ago after drinking Turkey 101 like a fish. <laughs> and she drank it neat, so she she wasn't playing. <laughs> Wow. There we go. Let's cut this little puppy out. Baked with Miss Red said they used to raise rabbits and had over 47 at one point in time. I had 47 at one point in time, she said. Wow. And Miss Frosty used to dress her bunny up in bow ties. 
<laughs> I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Save these little pieces here. Yeah. All right, Mod Podge. Got it. How dare me? Okay. <laughs> oh boy, this is stuck on here. Okay, hold your ears, everybody. There we go. Margie is in saying hello. Hello, Margie. Hello, Margie. How are you, hon? I hope everybody's good. We went from talking about how cute rabbits were to eating them, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, we Ms. didn't Frost eat mine. Ms. Frost was saying her rabbit was smart. He only went to the bathroom in his box in his enclosure. Yep. Mine ran loose, which was the downfall of the of the rabbit. Because he didn't know, I mean, you know, the rabbits. <laughs> but he was potty trained. He used the kitty litter box. But, you know, they get into things that they're not supposed to get into. And he got into some stuff he wasn't supposed to get into. And, unfortunately, he passed away because of it. So, that was a very, very, very sad day. Very sad day. I want it this way. Your mom says you need one of those jar openers. It saves on the wrist. Well, I do have one in here. I did. Scott took it out to open up a jar. Paula Mulford is in. Hello, Paula. Hello, Paula. Yes, they, I mean, he was a perfect lap pet. I, he was so gentle, but he loved, he loved, loved, loved the, the, uh, <laughs> stranger. Because stranger had floppy ears. <laughs> so he would grab the floppy ear and, Flip him over. And so, and so did, so did uh, the, the rabbit. So they spent a lot of time flipping each other. So that was a sad day. Um, Am I done with this? Yes, I am. Okay. Let me go ahead and sand this off of here. <laughs> I tried to have a pig in the house. Nah. Too big. <laughs> we weren't in the house long. Thank you suggesting a piece of rubberized shelf liner. Malt. Molly's grandma had a mini horse that used the dog door. Oh my gosh, I love mini horses. <laughs> but that had to have been an awfully big, I mean, yeah, they're, 
I know a mini, a mini horse couldn't fit through my doggy door. Of course, I don't understand why they had a doggy door to the sub basement. Now I, whenever we, I didn't know at the time, whenever we were looking at the house, why they had a doggy door into the sub basement. Until I found out that the neighbors didn't even know they had a dog. And so that dog would use his little bathroom time. Yeah. Downstairs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rough this up a little bit. Stain it. Put a little stain on here. Rough it up so it doesn't look so perfectly perfect. Grab my thing again. Grab this piece of paper. Grab this paper towel. Your mom says, Kelly, you don't like horses? I do. And big with Mr. Red <laughs> is getting good years. You aren't wrong. I'm not, I don't, I mean, I love horses. Don't get me wrong. They're just a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah, we're familiar with a couple people that have pigs. Thanks, saying Jonathan from Crossover Paranormal Society has a potbelly pig in his house. Well, mine was an American potbelly pig. And those things get huge. I mean, he was like a regular sized pig. All right, so now it looks like that. That's pretty. Okay, now with that one. Let's put this here. Get rid of my sawdust sand stuff here. Take this Miss Red, so she had one for a short period of time. Her name was Barbie. I don't want this a little darker, darn. Miss Frosty yet. says her the dogs are enough for her and her daughter's dogs. Yeah. This one a little bit darker. This is very light. Crafty Visage says hers got to be about 100 pounds, which is small in comparison to a farm pig. Tank's dreaming about bacon now. <laughs> Jeez, Tank. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Everybody's talking about their cute pets, and Tank's like, oh, I like eating those. Oh, I like eating those. <laughs> Okay, and I have this here. I want to bunch up. Your mom says that's because her aunt would make her muck stalls after school. Yes, not fun. Not fun at all. Okay, I'll put a little bit of glue back here. Don't you dry on me yet. Don't you dry on me. What is in there? Oh, a bell. Like, what is in my... 
<laughs> my little finger. <laughs> Okay. Right there. There we go. Tank saying she's a country girl. Missy is asking if pigs naturally want to tear up the garden and baked with Mr. Ed says, yes, they love to root. Yes. And my pig played with these roll away tea chairs that my grandmother had. And that was his outdoor toy. Oh, and a baby alive that got thrown into the backyard because my daughter was scared to death of it. And a bowling ball. Those were his toys outside. Okay. And then that one looks like that so far. Not done with it, though. I've got these little pearls here. Where's the other one? There they are. There it is. And I'm going to put these little pearls in here. Okay, A says, we had two horses growing up. Stall work was better than baling hay. Yeah, I've done both of those jobs. Done both. I think and I'd I probably trained. rather, I think I'd rather muck stalls than, yeah, to baling hay in the hot summer and it's, oh. I hated yeah. doing hay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we didn't have water on the farm. So we had to. We had to uh, haul the water. And so we had eight of those big. I, I want to say 10 gallon jugs. And we would fill them all up and take them to the farm and then dump them in the trough. And we would make two trips. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, let's hold that on there a minute. Let's put you back in here. I think I'm gonna put a, put a couple little leaves in there. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What do I got? For you? Here we go. I got this little pick here that I can take some of the leaves off of. Let's take this one here. Dawn is having flashbacks to destroyed rose gardens by the sounds of it. <laughs> Well, I didn't Tank have a I didn't have a rose garden, so I didn't do a Tank garden either. They, they had cisterns. Now well, there was no running water on this farm. Margie also saying she's a country girl. And I would like to go stay all night at my friends' house because they didn't have the horses. But no, since I had horses, all my friends wanted to stay all night at my house. Which I was like, I don't want to stay at my house. I want to go to your house. <laughs> I have to work at my house. Your mom says her friends would come over and want to ride the horses instead of hanging out with Kelly. She would be so upset. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Mama One is saying it's sweaty and itchy work. Yeah, it sucks. Like, yeah. And it's super hot and you got to wear long sleeves and it's, ugh. I hate doing hay. Oh, that's cute. I love this. This is adorable. That one there. There we go. So now we have this one here. 
and this one here. Oh, I love them. All right, that's awesome. Okay, let me get rid of my glue strings here. Because now we're going to start. Thank you, Mr. Ed. That would be fun, though, Kelly. What? With what you were just talking about. Doing the horses? Oh, no, it was not. It wasn't fun. Especially whenever you have to do it all the time. I wanted a break. My friends were like, no, this is fun. Yeah, big sister, it says riding horses. Oh, yeah. No, Mama One, that's not what Miss Frosty was thinking. I know what Miss Frosty no. was thinking. <laughs> She was behaving. Let let her keep behaving. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I'm thinking of which one I want to use. These have little little wreaths on them. I got this from Dollar Tree. I'd really like to use the rabbit one, but it's not. I mean, I could use that for something else on the in Easter. So, I think I'm going to use this one right here. Hmm. Elaine says that's so sweet. Margie grew up riding horses. Missy says country girls want to go to the mall. Right. Yeah, I'd rather have gone to the mall. Okay, I need the eye. So where's my eye at? Yeah, KA says long sleeves and jeans on a hot summer day sucked, but a necessity when bailing hay, 100%. Yeah. Okay, there's my eye over there. Others are now trying to corrupt Miss Frosty in the chat. <laughs> H I J K. Okay, this is the I. My hands are shaking. Yeah, there Tank is clarifying that the, the cistern was for uh, collecting and holding water. But you'd still have to right. have water to collect. Yeah. The ones that oh. were in the field got got the pond. Where's my U at? Where's the U? Okay, right there. Um, got the pond, but the ones that were in the stables and in the corral. had to have water taken in and my aunt it was a she boarded horses as well and i need this heart it was just a lot of work it was a lot of work and it wasn't fun work everybody thought it was but it wasn't the eye here's the heart there we go put that back over there i'll put it back in in a little bit and i might be using the other pieces okay let's use this one here i need my little scraper my scraper There's my little tool. Come here. There it is. Okay.
Yep, Patriots Mr. Ed's got it. So as a wise man once said, nothing. <laughs> oh, who bumped? I bumped again. Your mom says hard work keeps kids out of trouble. Yeah, well, it didn't keep me out of trouble. <laughs> it made me in trouble. Mama One is trying to loosen up Miss Frosty with a couple of drinks. <laughs> Miss Frosty is replying, singing, You're Not That Innocent. <laughs> no. Okay. Making sure it's even. There you are, there. Perfect. Could have gotten a little darker, but that's okay. Okay. Do the eye. A uh, reminder, everybody, craft challenge is coming up. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Frosty. Um, I'm going to have to do it on a Thursday this time instead of on the um instead of on the weekend um so i looked i know that dawn goes live on tuesday or is it tuesdays well i know she goes live on nancy. on no nancy goes live on tuesdays yeah dawn goes live on Wednesdays and Nancy goes live on Friday on um, Fridays as well so Thursdays seem to be the better day so um yeah I'm not liking how those went off but that's okay it looks good okay um because I'll be out of town the weekend before and the weekend after so the 19th, and then I'll be out of town on the 20. I think I leave the 26th on a Friday. So it'd be the 25th that I'd be. So. Perfect. Wednesdays is perfect. Um, perfect. What is perfect? <laughs> right? Wednesday. Um, Margie goes live on Thursdays. Yeah, but it's you'll be live after. Yeah, because Margie goes live at three o'clock my time, so that's like four oh, okay. of your time. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Now I want to put. I was going to use those wreaths, but I think I changed my mind on that. Um, yeah. So it'll be Margie live, and then because usually the craft challenges isn't until the evening, so Margie will be over by the time the craft challenge goes. Okay. Because China, okay. China also was going live on Thursdays. I think she said she was changing. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do I want to put on here? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Neil is in saying hello, everyone. Dropping a like before he goes to work. Hello, Neil. Hello, Neil. EP is listening while she does a bank run. And Miss Frosty did put in the craft challenge list. Thank you. I got to update mine. Yeah, Miss Frosty says usually seven central for the challenge. Yes. Yes. I mean, unless Margie's going to switch it up and do a four hour live. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't traditionally, though. <laughs> 
right? Oh, I, I love this right here. Her close streams with Dawn go a few hours, but usually Margie's lives are like an hour and a half type deal thing, it seems like. A couple hours, hour and a half. Right. I didn't know what to put in the center of that wreath. So. I'm going to use this instead. You take care of their tank. Tank says, uh, beautiful crafting today. She has a prior commitment. See you all later. All right, Tank. You have a wonderful day, hon. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought, Margie. Margie says she only does two hours. Yeah. From two to four Pacific. So. But you, which side do I want? I think I want this side. Let's put you to the side here, like so. Yes, just like that. Just like that. Awesome. Yeah, that'll, that'll be perfect, Margie. Because you'll be finished. And I think there's somebody else. I think Dawn was saying Thursdays were busy. All good. Well, if I don't do it, <laughs> well, I'll be running into the next the next month. Yeah. No, no, no. It will be great. Yeah. Just. Yeah, China's on in the afternoon. Yes. <laughs> Elaine says, I just made a cup of coffee, but forgot to put the cup underneath the Keurig. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> oh, right. There it is. Thanks, Margie. Margie says, after her is Spring the Fiber Enthusiast and Be Creative Crafts Pam. I knew Thursdays were busy. Yeah. That is okay. There's going to be overlap sometimes. Yep. There will be overlap. There's a lot of us yeah, out Fro there. Miss Frosty says, you do what you have to do, Kelly. Do what you need to do, Kelly, she says. Yep, I agree. Okay, how are you coming? How are you coming? Oop, that one came off pretty good. That one's off pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All of you sticking? Oh, nope, up here. Yeah, Bitch with Miss Red says, plenty of crafters to go around. And Margie says, she agrees with uh, Miss Frosty. She says, Kelly, do whatever works for you. So there you go. Amy Lane is oh, definitely well. complaining about her mess. <laughs> I bet. I bet. I just don't like running into other people's time. I feel bad for when I do have to do that. Okay, there we go. Rub it on there. Oh, that is cute. That's cute. I am going to take my little, once I get it on here, good. I'm going to take a little bit of this here. Kind of go over it just a little bit so it doesn't look like it's freshly put on there. Yeah, I agree. Angela says one time of a missed live isn't going to hurt anyone. Exactly. Oh, Missy Pop says, what, so the date is when? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. That turned out so cute. Okay, let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. Let's go for so it. The, are you setting the date for Thursday the 25th? Yes. No, Miss Frosty just said that. Okay, there we go. At the usual yes. time, 7 Central? 
7 Central. All right. There you looks go. Like I love it. It looks so cute. Okay. Now, we'll put these over here. Save them for another project. I need my twine. Almost done, guys. Almost done. And then I'm going to take my little I love you and glue them onto here. So it makes like a little banner. I wish my little I love you's would have come out a little bit better, but they didn't. But that's okay. Here, like so. Missy Pop says, Thanks for the info for the schedule. And Colette says, How adorable, Kelly, as does Elaine. Who's Thank you. Colin. Uh, I got a big drop there. Oh, that's gonna hurt. We go and this the U. It's even on both sides. Here we go. Yeah. Awesome. BP is Ten thankful dollars. for the sand trucks. Uh, Andrew and uh, BP is she's driving. She's making a bank run, so she said, "Thank goodness for the sand trucks." Not sure if it wants to rain or snow there. It seems miserable weather in lots of places. Uh, Angela was asking if there was a theme, or if something from nature was it. So, um, something from nature. Um, we really didn't have a theme. I don't think we had a theme. Oh man, I cut my things too short. I don't recall there any theme. No, I don't remember there being a theme. Okay. I think it, you know, I think there's snowflakes on the. There we go. Ouch. Interesting. BP says that she used water as her nature item. Really? Yeah, Elaine doesn't remember a theme either. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So now it looks like, and I know it's got a little, it's got something over the top of it, but that's cute. Is I love you. All right. Now. Let me Elaine get some. says she used river rock. My little moss here. Is the moss? Nope, that ain't it. Here we go. Stuff some of this down in the hole. Elaine, Florida Mama Bear, and Missy Pop are all loving it, thinking it's very cute. Give it a little trim, trim. Yeah. Okay. And then I got some greens here that I'm going to add in here. This one here. Where's my. Use this one. Do I have another one of those? Yes, I do. Right there. I don't think I have another one. No. Okay. We'll see how BP, these work. BP says that she's excited to go home and see how it turned out for her first attempt. So that's interesting. Uh, Elaine is asking, what kind of moss is that? It's not messy like what, what she has. Um, it's just Spanish moss that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. 
Yeah, I got it. From, I got this stuff from Hobby Lobby because I couldn't find it at Dollar Tree. Go up. You go up. You will. Awesome. Awesome. Get you down here. Just kind of gives it a little bit of extra, extra something, something. All right. Ms. Frost, you're reminding everybody to please hit those like buttons. <laughs> I take this one off. Angela says her moss is brittle and it crumbles. And Missy Pop says I can't wait to see what y'all do with Q-tips. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Definitely me too, because I have no clue. All right, let's glue. Eileen is making this. notes on Spanish moss. Welcome back from lunch, baked with Miss Reg. Hello, Welcome Ms. Reg. back. When Mr. Red. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Let's do this side here. Okay. Excuse me. Thought I had some burlap sitting around here, but I don't. All right, let me cut it. Okay, how do I want this little puppy? This way, this way, this way, this way. This one's bigger, this one's smaller. Let's do the small one down below. Okay. Okay, just dump it down. Elaine says this is going to turn out awesome, like every one you do. Oh, well, thank you. Red. Baked with Miss Red is trying to summon Amanda. <laughs> Mona Moments is in saying hello. Hello, Mona. Move that. Grab another one of these puppies. See here, a long one. Yes. Here's a cover up that bear spot. Oh, how cute! I absolutely love this. <laughs> Let me move all my stuff out of the way. Mona says hugs, so clearly she's in a good mood. Hugs to you. You still have okay weather down there? Baked with Miss Red says she still doesn't know what she's doing with the Q-tips, but she's got them on her desk. Right. Okay. Let me move this up a little bit. And there it is. I think it turned out too adorable. And then you can change it out throughout the seasons. 
but I think it's so cute. Let's see, it's not. I absolutely love it. It'll look cute in my little. I've got a little shelf thing that hangs on my wall, and this will be perfect to fit in there for the season for Valentine's. I think it's so cute. This could go down just a little bit further. Let me cut it down just a little bit more. I don't see it until I see it on screen. There we go. Let's flip it around here. There we go. Now it's closer. There we go. How cute is that? I absolutely love it. It's too cute. All right, everybody. This here's my craft for today. And I think he turned out amazing. Yep. For just a little thing to sit on a little shelf. Did you lose me? There we are. Here I am. You bumped that time. That was you that bumped I that bumped time. That time huh? <laughs> it was me the other two times. You bumped that time. Yes. <laughs> yes, and it'll go with the rooster. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thank you, BP. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. This turned out so adorable. I absolutely love it. Okay, I didn't bounce. It's, it bounced finally on my phone here. So, <laughs> anyway, everybody, here's my craft. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. And you all have a great rest of your day. Um, I will be posting the craft challenge on, it'll be um, on the 25th of this month on a Thursday at 7 o'clock. Um, the, I, I'll have that posted on my community page. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with. I hope that the, I hope that at least people try the, um, the Q-tip. I mean, I know it's going to be difficult, but yeah. Yes. Oh, and baked with Miss Red is going to be doing her uh, making i'm making my craft challenge item at 3 30 so i can't wait to watch i can't wait to watch it'll be fun yep, i can't wait scheduled. i pardon me that's already scheduled as well yes it is i saw that and i was like oh good i get to watch her <laughs> So, yes, join uh, Baked with Miss Red. You can watch how she does her craft challenge. And I can't wait. Um, so, yes, if you could post her link in there again for the people who have missed it um, so they can watch. I know, me too. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, That's a link right to the live, too. So if, you'll, it'll, if you want to put your notification on for it or something like that. But it will re that'll redirect you out of here. So sorry, everybody. Okay, <laughs> awesome. All <laughs> right, Mrs. Paul, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, everyone, for coming in and joining me today. This was a fun little project. I can't wait to put it up. I'm still waiting to get my Christmas decorations down so I can start decorating with the things that I've made so far. So um, gives me an idea of what I want to what I'm going to make by where I'm going to put it. So and what I want there. So that helps. That helps um, my inspiration on what I want to do. So, anyway, I love you all. Um, hopefully, I'll see you all over at Reds at 3.30. And you all have a great day. And please be kind out there. Be safe out there. And I will see you all tomorrow. Unless my daughter comes and helps me take down my decorations, which I'm still waiting on. <laughs>
<laughs> so I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Business Red is live in just over an hour. And take care. Stay safe and warm, everybody. And hashtag Telefied. Thank you, Brett. Ha, ha, ha.